Yes, yeah, certainly he's, uh, he's he's really come on well uh, with the ankle injury. It could have been a lot worse with Big Aaron Sandy Lands coming down upon him, but uh, no, he's um, he's raring to go. He's trained this week, and um, you know his form was fantastic, um, and he's looking forward to continuing that. His time off? Ah, oh, look, as it's turned out, he's uh, you know very fresh and he's running well. Um, so uh, you know he's still a very important part uh, of our makeup um, and. You know, uh, we're looking for him to, to give us some drive tomorrow. Look, there's been a lot of, you know, talk about Dale and not doing this and not doing that. We've been happy with him right through the year. He's played some some roles for us, some defensive roles up forward. But it was great for him last week to be able to you know, get through the midfield, find some of the football. And uh, look, you know, he, he's just really coming on leaps and bounds with his fitness. So Dale can only get better. Oh, it's been a great story, no doubt about that. But uh, you know, I'd like to say to um, Matthew Capuano, Michael Osborne, and Luke Webster, who who sort of do all the nitty gritty stuff in the development, they've done a great job. Um, Gus himself has, has certainly been a credit to himself to be able to you know play 15 games of football or 14 games. I think this will be his 15th game of football, and you know rock up here in January. So it's been a great effort by our development coaches, but also a great effort by by Gussie to be able to, you know, take on the game, to learn uh, and to put it into, into place, play his role. Well, you know, he, he came to us as a forward and he's played a little bit forward, he's played a little bit back um, and, you know, he could play a little bit there. But definitely, you know, just to be get there and uh, be a part of a team that's it's really playing some very good football at the, at the minute and, uh, you know, we expect him just to, to be a good defensive player, to, to make good decisions, um, and as I said, to, to be able to beat his man. <sighs> I don't know about repeat patterns, but, you know, there's obviously certain parts of, of our game that we want to improve. Um, you know, we, we've got to make sure that when we're playing against the really good sides defensively, and, and I know that probably one quarter in the last five weeks that we let ourselves down against Sydney, but other than that, um, you know, we've been really competitive. We've got to win those close games, there's no doubt about that. And, um, but the belief, you know, it's obviously been a really disappointing week for us um, with a couple of our players, but the belief that this playing group has and where they want to go and we, we want to take this club forward um, has been outstanding. And if we continue with that attitude, continue with the style of football that we're playing, then those wins will definitely happen. Well, we're a strong, committed group, and you know we want to set high standards. We want to set high standards on and off the field, uh, and, and be competitive week in and week out, quarter by quarter, and, and win those games. As I said, but also off the field. And you know, um, as I said, there's great belief. This this club, this coaching group, and this this playing group. You know, we, we want to get back to the successes of the Carlton Football Club had in the past. And you know, they've been strong. Um, they know where they want to head. And you know, that's that's the way they've 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 taken this. And um, as I said, it's really important for us. The last four games, we play four very good sides. That we must continue uh, uh, with this this um, going forward with the, what we're setting at the moment. Well, Mick always gets let down when we don't win games of football. He's he's there to coach and to win and and, and take to the cl uh, the club the Carlton Footy Club to the the highest. So, um, you know, I think as I said that you all get let down. There's no doubt about that. It's not just the coach. It's the the, the Carlton Footy Club members, supporters, the you know the whole lot. Um, but uh, as I said, I can only reiterate. I don't know what Andrew said, but I'm sure it's exactly what we're saying, that we want these high standards um, and we're not going to let anything get in our way. You know, we've got to uh, strive for success. We've got to strive for the, the excellence that we want, we want to achieve.